They may have a need for speed, but skateboarders sometimes put themselves at risk. Not all agree on a bill that would require helmets for skateboarders under the age of 16. KITV4's Jody Leong went to Makiki Skate Park to get their viewpoints. 14-year-old Race Evers does not wear a helmet when he's skateboarding, and he doesn't want to be forced to wear one in the future. Usually a lot of injuries on skateboarding, it doesn't really like hit the head. I usually hit my elbows or knees, but it won't be that bad. His friend, 20-year-old Marshall Al Young, supports a helmet requirement, but with conditions. So if you're a beginner, I, I think you should, wear a, you should wear a helmet. If you're advanced, maybe less so, depending on how good you are at a skateboarder. The House Health Committee just passed a bill that would require skateboarders under 16 years old to wear properly fitted, fastened skate helmets that are approved by agencies like the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Fines for violating the proposed law would range between $50 and $250. The proposal comes eight months after 21-year-old Cameron Steinoff died of injuries he received in a freak skateboarding accident on a residential street in Temple Valley in Kaneohe. The Hawaii Pacific University basketball player lost control of his skateboard, fell, hit his head, and ended up under a parked car. He died a few days later. You know, we enforce bicycle uh, children who ride bicycles wearing helmets. And so one of the things is, you know, to increase awareness, to ensure that as the children develop, they know that these are rules. And then by learning to follow these rules, it'll actually continue into adulthood. Because again, the, the goal is for their protection, yeah. And this would be an added uh, push for not only awareness, but compliance. While Ao Young supports the helmet bill. Anyone can hit their head at any time. So it should be safer than sorry. Evers says the bottom line is this. Well, people should know their limits of skateboarding. In Makiki, Jody Leong, KITV4 News.